Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Friday, November 16, 2018. We're back with Flying By and her 5200 bottom project. Here are the 1500 to 1600 brass fasteners that we extracted from her bottom frames. And now I'll unveil the major milestone the flying by has blown through in this true 5200 bottom project. She used to fly, but now she's a porcupine. Probably doesn't fly very well. It took all day yesterday until well into last evening and then part of this morning but the end product after inserting three toothpicks in every hole securing them with Gorilla Glue we have the bottom ready for the next step how many hard rock maple toothpicks well, we kept count by boxes, by boxes of 1,200 toothpicks. We went through just shy of four boxes. My arithmetic tells me that puts us somewhere between 4,600 and 4,800 toothpicks. It is a mindless process, but oh, so critical to a successful preservation project, be it a true 5200 bottom or refastening topside planks or anything else when you've released parts of a wood boat from her frame. What we are able to do once we have cut off all of these toothpicks using our fine multi-master cutting tool is to hit every single frame with three coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer and then we're ready for the process that John taught us and that would be reaching for cardboard sheets and using them to make a paper pattern of the bottom that will serve as the patterns for our sections of four mil <coughs> excuse me four millimeter Aquatech marine plywood that will go down first bedded in 3M 5200 the Aquatech will have been treated with three coats of clear penetrating epoxy sealer once we cut and fit the individual components, individual pieces. We will then apply three coats of Chris Craft mahogany bilge paint to the inner side of every sheet. And that way, when we are finished, The inside will already be painted. We won't have to paint in and around all of these frames. So, with our first snowstorm hammering away outside, our Farmer's Almanac promises a long and snowy winter. Well, an 8 to 10 inch snowfall in the middle of November is the beginning of a long winter, whether it continues to be as snowy as this storm uh, will be by the time it ends sometime tonight, remains to be seen. But it's winter in Vermont. It's magical as always. There's nothing like the first snowstorm. Just so beautiful. But we're in here. We're warm, dry, 
and we just have to stay away from those quills because that hard rock maple does not move when you hit it and it can puncture skin uh, like nothing else I've ever worked on. So having roared through this milestone, we'll say goodbye and thank you very much. Bye bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.